That, my friends, is a Leviathan. And a Leviathan is a battle cruiser class ship. More than a battle cruiser, it's like a mothership for Serg. And it's um, pretty dangerous. It's also something of what the um, Serg can use to travel through dimensions. We're gonna go straight for it. We're gonna meet it up and we're gonna Yamato it straight to hell. So, are you ready for this? Yes, Commander. Check this out. There we go. It's beautiful, is what it is. This 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 magical little super fleet. Let's go uh, deal with. Oh, hello. Are they trying to sneak in the to the sides? Also, you see, there's a bunch of minerals and stuff left around. I might have to go and uh, grab them. Medics. Medics. See, this is where they can be handy because I can just like vroom, you irradiated vroom. I think. And they'll eventually die. But the problem is, they, it doesn't take that much damage, and they will do AoE damage to other bi biologic units at the same time. It's great for, um, sh like, groups of Zerg units, basically, but beyond that, it's not a big deal. Um, are we done here? We are done here. Let's turn them in and start harvesting. We are so rich right now. So rich. And our fleet is growing. Um, who are we gonna grab? We're gonna bring this guy, because he can... No, not this guy. Is that a war pig? Yeah, I'll send a war pig. You got it. Just pick up all the minerals and then go back home. We also have a bunch of minerals here. I mean, we're not really in need of resources if you're looking at how it looks. But, you know, every little bit, I suppose. Are we pretty set? I kind of want to nuke. I want to nuke the last one. But it's a surface thing explosion, so we talked about that. Or pig guy, actually. You can, you can grab these as well. The waypoint you into all of them. Let me just clear the area out. Oh no, I'm radiated to death. Yes, you are. Works better on smaller units, really. But that platform is pretty destroyed. Let's scout it around here. Make sure it's safe for the war pig. Can't send him into his death. Again. Alright, we're set up to go for another attack here. Oh, hello, we've got incoming. They're gonna try to sneak up here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Not too, no, actually, they are attacking here. Not too worried. Back away a little bit and we're good. Although we could use some more, so let's get some more pigs. And Spartan Company. That should be pretty close to maximum supply now. I'm in a pickle. It's fine, the science vessels are there to help you out. Right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do actually. Let's see if we can get a Shadow Ops up and running. Um where are SV set? There you go. Build a shadow ops. Mineral field depleted. Build it hiding it sort of here. Because we don't need minerals anymore. Yep. And we're gonna go build some nukes. And we're gonna nuke them. Well, we're gonna make sure we have a clear path, actually. We might not have a clear path. Okay. Whatever that means. Because we haven't used spectres yet. <sighs> yes, which on. is a shame. Because they're pretty cool, and we spent like an entire series of missions unlocking them. Alright. You guys stay here, and defend. Make the path clear for, for our dude. What we're gonna build, right here. Spectre, like, it's gonna be Tarsh's buddy. It's a cool dude. Cool dude. There we go. Let's put two, just in case. Upgrade Down they go. Okay. Upgrade complete. We got them coming. We got them coming. Nah, they're all dead to go yet. 
couple of seconds. War pig guy has finished beginning minerals. Good, you can now defend that base because that's what you got at. Um, how many unused SCVs do we have? A whole bunch, actually. You can go there. All right, Shadow Ops is done. Let's build a nuke. I wonder if we can. We might have to have more because we can have more nukes. Let's do it. Here we go. We haven't upgraded them much, have we? No, we haven't. We're gonna end up just cloaking, walking in, and nuking. But of course, we need to wait for the nukes to finish building. They're not. That's that not too bad. We can have two running at the same time. Maybe take out this base first because this base isn't really that exciting to nuke. Although it would be make the most sense, I feel maybe. Nuke yes, finished. Nuke. Nuke finished. Nuke finished. Nuke finished. Nuke finished. Nuclear missile ready. All right, here we go. Cloak it up. Bring it. Nuke it up. I sense their fear. Will. Depleted. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's landing. I'm already there. Oh, really? ah. It does a fair bit of damage, but it's not like world ending or anything. It's pretty much just to mop up units. But even then, you see, them are still sort of not too bad. This is another expansion if we feel we need it, but we really don't, considering we're sitting at 10,000 minerals. It's more for uh, higher difficulties, honestly. Let's build more nukes. This is, as we say, a pretty air heavy, defense heavy one. But we're not too worried. I'm gonna sort of sneak around. Um, are you uncloaked yet? No, you lost your energy, you didn't you? Oh, there are other Spectre guy can get ready, though. As soon as the nuke's ready. Okay, see, we can go straight in there. Probably through a decent path. Careful. Nuke ready? Nuke? Nuke ready? No, not yet. Not quite yet. Let's break through here, I guess. And then we've got the nuke ready. So we're gonna sneak in and just nuke down there. We might be able to break it actually with a nuke. Although I think it has a little bit more HP. Alright, alright. Fairly safe here. We gotta make sure we get this one as well, because that'll uh, discover the cloaked ghost. Beat the rage. Patching you. I'm tired of waiting. I'm already there. Nukes. Yes, are cool. Roger. And light. Oh, yeah. Technology. Another nuke. Already. Always. I'm already there. Commencing bombardment. Second nuke hitting. It's not gonna take out the coolant tower, but you we'll do what we can. Yes, now go in and grab it, and then run the hell away. Yes, commander. Get out of there, sir. Cloaking man. Oh, he died. He died. I wasn't fast what enough to cook him. Or no, they had an overseer anyway, so... Where's my backup? You don't have any backup. This is the problem with the ghosts. They're very fragile. Anyway, this should be gone in just about 15 seconds. Look at them trying to invade. we got the mercenaries got getting... Oh, are they low on health? They kind of are. Oh no, they weren't. Yeah, so, uh, any second now. Any second. There it goes. Good job on taking out those towers. One to go. They're sorting this out pretty well. I'm not even sure we're gonna need the fleet. 
good lords. There we go. Alright guys. You defend. The fleet is on its way to finish the final coolant tower. So, yeah. All in all, I'd say the other mission is definitely much cooler. But this is almost the closest thing you'll get to like a normal map. Just like you start with a tiny base, destroy a bunch of bases. It's kind of classic, a little bit of a throwback. StarCraft 1 style, really. It's not bad. But not as exciting. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. They are fully upgraded, aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yes, really. Yes, really, they are. Yes, Commander. Okay, you guys go in first. You don't want the signs of taking any hits. We're gonna Yamato count on the thing, I think. Just blast our way through first. Little markings there. Like the cows you can unlock as you do more get more achievements. You unlock the cows for different things. We have like our symbols. You see we have the Rainer Raider symbols there. Uh, Protoss have similar things as well. Not much you can do against us, Ultraless Gold, buddy. Beautiful fleet. Alright, tell you what we're gonna do. Lots of Yamatos. Get the hell out of there. That should about do it. And we're done. Shadow of the Sky complete. Oh well. It's kind of cool. But yeah, it's also one of those things where like there's a speed thing if you want to do it quickly. As you can see, we were a fair bit slower. But that's because we were taking our time and being cool. Plasma Explosion was a zero. It's pretty nice. Peak Armist is 103. It would have been a lot bigger if we actually had, um, had nothing but um, anything else that wasn't Battlecruisers. Good to see you on your feet, General. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I brought you boys a present. Think it does. Damn straight. 
betting our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fueling, the one thing I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. Some things are just worth fighting for. News! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad day for us here at UNN. I regret to inform you that last night, Donnie Vermillion had himself committed to the Dominion Mental Health Center here on Core Hall. While the nature of his abrupt mental breakdown remains unknown, we do know that he was clad only in his socks and rumored to be in possession of Emperor Mengsk's manifesto and a pound of peanut butter. We wish you all the best, Donnie, and hope for your speedy recovery. In the meantime, I'll be taking over as chief anchor here at UNN. For UNN, I'm Kate Lockwell. Woo! Yes! Good for you, Kate. Good for you. Final push. You ready for this? That I am, partner. Hell, we're gonna be the guys that kill the Queen of Blades. Genuine heroes. Old Manx might even give you a pardon. Get one thing straight, Tigus. If Valerian's right, and this artifact can turn Kerrigan human again, I'm taking her away from this place. You hear what I'm saying? I hear you, Jimmy. And I know you want to believe she can come back. But after all the misery she's caused, well, let's just say some folks don't deserve second chances. I'll be the judge of that. Warfield? All these years, Minsk made you out to be the devil himself. But I've seen you put it on the line for men who'd otherwise be hunting you down. Your Emperor is the one should be brought to justice. All I ever wanted was for folks to live free. Charging into battle with a stranger. Taking enemy fire, holding the line shoulder to shoulder. That's the great equalizer of war. It's an honor to fight at your side. I sure do appreciate that, General. And here's the artifact itself. We spent a lot of time hunting down all them pieces. Now it's all together. This thing gives me the willies something awful. I know what you mean. When I look at it, it's like I can hear voices in my head. The sooner we're done with this thing, the better. Agreed. Right now, this artifact is the most important weapon in the universe. And we're going to use it. I just wish the damn thing came with an instruction manual. For all we know, we could be upsetting the entire space-time continuum. Easy, Tychus. This ain't science fiction. Bum bum psh. 